Right. Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. Absolutely. All right, so tonight we're going to do uh, another high, another selection from High West. Yeah, I'm very curious because we are very pleased with their rendezvous, rendezvous Rendez ride. Right. Easy for me to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe we need a couple of those. Yeah. <laughs> Loosen up the tongue. Um, so the, yeah, the rendezvous rye was a spectacular rye. It was given to me mm. by a buddy of mine and, um, uh, it was, uh, just an amazing dram and really kind of got us, you know, focused, yeah. you know, at, at least going down the path on rye to say, Hey, there's something here. I think that was our real, our formal introduction to rye. Um, I'm sure I've had it before or at least in small parts of a bourbon or something like that But that one it was really rye forward and thoroughly enjoyed that. That was a really good one Yeah, I think I would have been reluctant for uh, to try the rye if it, if you know the bottle hadn't been given yeah. to me uh, It's not something I generally thought of as a yeah, um, you know, you know in you know when I went for uh, for a, a glass of whiskey No, I agree and man um, Boy, am I glad that my eyes were open. Yeah, we've kind of gone off the deep end as far as that's concerned. Now we're checking out rye all over the place. It's been fantastic. Yeah, rye are just uh, amazing. They got these floral notes and uh, you know cinnamon flavors and yeah. uh, you know just um, you know they'll they'll hit you with different types of uh, like herbal notes yeah. that uh, that you won't get out of a bourbon or a scotch. No, I agree. Unless unless it's a very rare you know very rare whiskey yeah so this is a double rye and if i remember correctly this was 46 percent abv that is correct so. um it's also made with two two ryes this is a blend um there's a younger rye and uh an older rye and the younger rye is going to be very spicy and um it's going to be kind of in your face and then the uh the older rye is was put in there to kind of mellow it out a little bit interesting well, um, but they're they're both at least two years old okay well, mm -hmm. that's good to know yeah I'd be curious to see what it has to offer yeah for sure all right let's uh give her a shot yeah now i can say it does seem to be a little lighter in color than some of the other ones that i've had not yep. by much but a little bit yep it's uh it's got beautiful glass cling yeah it does um so i imagine it's going to uh stick to the palette real well um mm -hmm. it's going to have some long lingering finish I would think so. Yeah. Wow. That's very different. It really is. Yeah. Um, compared to other ryes we've, I've, uh, I've sampled. Um, this one is really different. It's, it's a very uh, different. It's animal. spicy on the nose, whereas you know the other ones you pick up caramel and you yeah. pick up, uh, you know, some of those floral notes or the uh, the herbal notes in there. And I'm not really getting that here. I'm it's, just getting a lot of spice. It's brighter. There is uh, for me. I pick up like a minty aspect to it. Um, that's probably what's most forward mm. on the nose for me. Interesting. All right. Cheers. Eat your mochi balls. <laughs> Very spicy. Yeah, I agree. There's a, definitely a barrel spice on it. Um, not much in the way of ABV. Uh, a cinnamon aspect to it, no doubt. Yeah, I'm getting like a, like a eucalyptus yeah um you know maybe a like a juniper berry almost it's got like a little like a little gin tang to it yeah i agree uh, hmm. that's uh that's very different from uh, very, other ryes that we've that we've tasted yeah it's uh it comes across as being a little bit brighter um not quite as deep and dark as some of the other ones that we've run into that uh that eucalyptus note, I think, really is what makes this so different for me. Right. I think that's. I think that's throwing me off a little bit too. Mm. I mean, I I expected, you know, I expected cinnamon. I expected, mm -hmm. you know, the caramel and you know the you know the buttery aspect of this, and that was kind of throwing it into the realm of mint. Yeah, it's not really what I was expecting out of it. Interesting, and nothing like the rendezvous. Nothing totally at all. different animal. Yeah, I mean it's it's tasty. Yeah, in its in its own way, it is a different animal, and uh, I would certainly drink it. But uh, again, I keep going back to that comparison with a rendezvous rye, and uh, I don't know how I feel about this one in comparison. Yeah, I I don't think you can compare the two honestly. I mean, yeah. it would be easy to do that, but the rendezvous rye was Just a different animal. Different animal. I think they're going for something completely different with this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I gotta say it's not really my thing. Um, not saying it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. Just for me, it's it's not what I would reach for when it came to a rye. It's not a stereotypical rye for me. Yeah, I agree. And you know, maybe some more time with rye and everything might help me appreciate this one yeah. a little bit more. And certainly, we're not shitting on it. We no, try not to shit on whiskeys. Here. That's a good point, though, because we are still fairly early in our uh, rye journey. So obviously our palates are going to change as uh, we experience more, uh, more whiskeys. But uh, yeah, based on what I've had thus far, eh, yeah, I don't know, not a fan. What do you, what do you on our scale? What do you, what are you thinking? So on a scale of one to five, I think I'm going to go with a two. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I think, uh, I think that's where it belongs at this point in time. Again, we may revisit it at some point once we've had a bit more experience and uh, adjust that. But based on where I'm at right now, I think two is where I would go. Yeah, and the price on this was about forty dollars. So I mean, not not crazy. Yeah. Um, but certainly, um, uh, you know, for the for the price, I would probably grab something else. Yeah. Maybe like the Pikesville or or uh, yeah. or the Rittenhouse that we uh, that we just tried. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, and again, the Rendezvous Rye we thought was absolutely fantastic. So if you can find that one, by all means, I would recommend doing so. But uh, on this one, I think I would have to pass. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the episode. All right. Thank you very much. Take Have a good care. night.